example, Zhong Tuo Zhou Formula Machinery Company Limited. You have so a lot of machines just now. And now I'd like to compare two same machines for you. Yes, or roofing sheet machines. You can see many difference. And uh, here are one, two, there are two set of uh, roofing sheet and rock forming machines. And actually, in or uh, if you get their quotation, you can see that they have almost uh, the same configurations in their quotation. But right now, now I will show you so many differences between them that are not shown in the quotation sheet. Okay, I will compare this. Then we one of the differences on my own. As we all know, a complete roof machine and production line includes a decoiler, made roofing machine, a cutter, receiving table, hydraulic station, and a PLC control cabinet. Now let's first focus on this one. And one, two, for these two, you can see obviously they are different. Look at this one. First, let's look at the decoiler. You can see there is a big wheel. Because it is very convenient for you to fill it, and uh, to because this manual, uh, this is a manual coiler, so you don't need to turn the wheel to uncoil the coils. Yeah, for the big wheel, it's very convenient and user friendly. And here is the brake. Uh, if in working, if you need it to stop emergently, you can use the brake. You can break very good. Okay, it has a very good decoiler. And but for this one, you can see it does. They have a, a decoiler, and actually, uh, if it has a decoiler, its decoiler won't have the big wheel nor break. Now let's go on the next step. Now let's now let's focus on the feeder. For this machine, you can see it has. One, two, three, four, four spotter rollers to help spot uh, feeding. In this way, the raw material can fix uh, directly inside it and uh, can protect from the scratch. And in this way, uh, raw material can fix the uh, uh, continuous. And now uh, let's focus on let's look at this, this one. But, for this feeder, you can see it is very simple. Yeah. It has just take up a dot, one, two, on two sides. And but uh, in, and uh, only a metal in the middle. If you put the raw material up from this feeder, the raw material can jump out very easy. That would be bad. And uh, for this metal, it may scratch the paint of your material. It's the second disadvantage. And now let's go on to the feeding uh, part of this machine. Yeah, for this machine, you can see that uh, its rollers. You can see its uh, diameter of the rollers is very, very small, and uh, the the parts uh, out here is very little, and. Uh, one to uh, upper and bottom rollers. Their working model is different. Uh, for the bottom, for the bottom rollers, it uh, it is drive by the south, but for the upper rollers, it is driven passive. So in this way, if you want to feed raw material, uh, your worker need very uh, need, need to work very hard to try to feed their material. Because they don't work, it, because the two layers of the rollers don't work at the same time. And but uh, look at uh, this machine. First, you can see the rollers. The rollers is very big, yeah, much higher outer, and the diameter is much bigger than that one. And for the uh, spacers, it is a chrome. And you uh, use this way to can anti dust and and uh, rusting. Uh, by the way, for these rollers, uh, the upper rollers and the bottom rollers, 
they both can work at the same time. They both drive uh, by themselves because you can see there are uh, gears here. In this way, the two uh, rulers can work together and your worker can easily fit the material. Now let's go on. And uh, for this machine, you can see there's X, X shape diagnose, yeah, for the spotter in X shape, so that uh, it can help spot the main frame to make it work more stable and uh, strong. But for this machine, there's nothing, nothing inside. Yeah, but in this way, your machine will be not strong enough, and then maybe if you're having to work a little bit fast, it'll be shaky. Okay. And, uh, and for the spacious, it's spacious, it's just oil painted. And uh, we are, yes, for the rollers, really small. And for the bottom rollers, you can see it's so small. In this way, the manufacturers just uh, try to save cost as much as possible. And uh, in this way, each, uh, for, there are usually uh, more than 10 roller stations in a machine. And uh, in this way, uh, the two ways of the two machines. For each roller station, the cost can be maybe 10 times different. So in total, the machine cost uh, will be uh, very huge. Many times you ask us why your machine is much expensive or more expensive than others and your quotation looks like the same. That's why, and that's why I told you, and that's the answer of, the, of your questions. You can see the difference of the machines. And now let's go up. Then let's focus on the chains. You can see they use the single chains of it. It is a chain-driven model, and they use single chains. And for this machine, Come here, please. And this machine uses double, double chains. In this way, it can uh, give the machine much stronger power and have it work more stable. Now, let's focus on the last part. So this black part of it, you, know, you can see it's very, it's very thick and very thick and uh, strong. And the wall panel is much thicker. Uh, its thickness of this wall panel is 20 millimeters, and of that one, it is only 16. And uh, the, uh, the, this part of that machine is much narrower; it's thinner. Yes. Now let's now let's go on to next part. Okay, everyone. Uh, that is. Uh, also, for the feeders, let's focus on the wheel. For this one, you can see there is measures to measure the sizes. You can, uh, in this way, you can change the feeding material rail wise. You can see it moves. You can uh, decide the material wise that you need in this way. And uh, it has measures here. You can see clearly how much you need to move. And, but for this feeder, nothing. If you want to change the uh, feeding wires, you need to screw the, screw the uh, bolts and move it hardly. It is uh, troublesome and uh, cannot work precise. Then let's focus on the, the frame. For this machine frame, uh, it's, uh, it's head of the frame is only 20, uh, 200 and uh, 50. And also the metal is thicker. But for this one, the head of it is 350, much higher. And uh, thicker, you can see, it's thicker. Uh, about, uh, and uh, the thickness is about three times of this one. Now, let's go up. Now, now, let's, let's look at the motors. You can see of this machine, the motors is much bigger and looks very stronger. It has a bigger power. 
So that was this one. But only this little bit. Maybe only one third of that one. It's very small. You can see. Yeah. And now, next, let's look at a, a hydraulic station. And for this machine, you can see this hydraulic station is very big. It has big motor, big box, and fan cooling system. In this way, your in this way, it can assure your machine to work more stable and uh, to ensure your sheets can be well shaped. Now let's look at uh, this station. Yeah, but for this machine, look at it. It's very small. Maybe, uh, maybe also less than half of that one. I have a small motor, small box, and then no cooling system. In this way, uh, since it hasn't a cooling system, after some time of working, the oil in it will get heat, and uh, it will uh, make your machine working unstable. It is bad. Now let's look at the central cabinet for this machine. Uh, it is fixed uh, on the machine to save space, but actually also to save cost. Let's open it. Yeah, you can see it is just a several buttons here. All the buttons are Chinese, all Chinese brand, normal brand. You can also see the uh, lines of cables, and they are also used at uh, normal Chinese brand. Now let's go to the other machines, control cabinets. Okay, for this machine, first look at the, the size of it. First, it is an independent control cabinet, and it is high. For only the shell of it is, its cost is about uh, five fold, five fold of that of that cabinet, and all the buttons, all the buttons are uh, made of. A famous Germany brand, and for the screen we use a uh, Taiwan brand uh, Delta, and also for the PLC system we usually also use Delta. Now let's look at the back. Yeah, you can see here we use we use fixed uh, yeah aviation clock to make it a fixed. Uh, uh, your order and all our other uh, labels are fixed uh, in order and uh, marked. And, and uh, they are also uh, made of a famous Germany brand. And the total cost of this cabinet uh, is much higher than uh, that, uh, the that cabinet. Then let's look at the color. Yeah, for this machine's color, you can see first it's frame is very thick and uh, very big. And you also look at the uh, uh, cylinder, one to two cylinders. The cost of a cylinder is much higher than the yellow round one. And for this for this plate, uh, it can push the press to the uh, to the color. And to, for this color, it has uh, uh, two lines of balls, but it, and, uh, the, and the color is just inside it. In this way, uh, the color can work a very long time, and uh, don't uh, afraid of the don't fear of the fact of the uh, shaking the work. And uh, it has the four colors of it. In this way, it's, it is very strong and it can work very safe. Now let's look at this number. First, you can see it's very simple, and uh, for this frame, it's, it is much thinner. And it, as I said, it's, this kind of cylinder is much, uh, it's much more simple, simpler, and cheaper than that one. Not work as well as that it. And for the color, you can see it is just a, a fixed by balls. There are many balls and the color. But the problem is, 
after some time of working, and uh, each time it works, the cutter will shake, and uh, the power will make the ball to loosen, and uh, even make uh, the cutter break at last. But for the for that big machine, uh, the cutter can work very long. It is much better than it, and of course, the cost of this cutter is much higher than that one. And totally, you can see many differences in these machines. And actually, if you want to see many more differences, you can get a, in contact with us, and we can explain them in details more for you. Next time, we'll get a quotations. Don't just look at the numbers or figures on the quotation. Try to ask more questions inside the quotation sheet. Okay, because what uh, you showing on the quotation is not complete. You'll need to cut to learn more. And you know, once again, our aim is less profit, best solution, and long-term business and relationship. Trust and don't call. We will help you explore more. And uh, we would like to be your, uh, and we would like to join your success story. Any questions, just send us inquiries. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. 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 Ok